Hi, I'm John Lommers, the creator of Epic Table, and I'm going to show you how to display a player view on a second screen. The reason you do this is typically if you have a map and you want your GM's view of the map on your computer or your laptop, and you want to display the player view on a second screen, um, like a big screen or a screen facing the players. That way you can show the fog of war view to the players and control what they can see while you as the GM can see everything. The first step is to connect your PC to the big screen. This is an ordinary HDMI cable and I'm just going to plug it into the, the back of my notebook here. In step two, we extend the computer screen to the big screen TV or other secondary device. What you're looking at is my Windows 8 desktop, and I like to switch from the, the Metro or tiles-based UI to the, the traditional desktop view. That's where Epic Table and a lot of other programs run, and that, so that's where I do the actual switch to extend the desktop. The way you extend the Windows desktop in Windows 8 is to hit the window key and the letter P at the same time. I think P is for present and that will give you a list of choices as to how you want to um, handle the, the secondary screen. And the one that you want is extend. That will leave your your primary display on the computer in front of you and give you a secondary display um, that you can drag Windows to. On Windows 7 it looks a little different but the process is the same. Again you hit the window key and P for present and that will give you a list of choices as to what you want to do with the secondary screen and again you want extend. Now for the third and final step, I'm going to take a break from the screen casting and instead I've got video showing my laptop and myself working on that laptop and actually opening the player view and dragging it to the big screen. And to let you better see what's going on on my laptop, I've still got the screen cast of my laptop in the, the lower right of this video. So you can see the, the big screen, you can see me off to the left with my laptop, and then a blow up of, of my laptop screen in the lower right so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to create a player view and I'm going to drag that player view onto the big screen. So uh, let me show you this real quick. I'm going to um, come over to Actions and Properties, Open Player View. So this creates a player view of my map. And I just can drag this out of here over to the big screen. And then blow it up. And there we go. Now as I'm sitting here, I've got my GM view back here. Oops. my GM view back here on the, the laptop and I can do things like expose this new room so if I go to Fog of War and flip on the fog now I can light that room so basically I have my GM view down here and I can run the game from here and control what the players see on the big screen. And the other thing that I would likely do in this case is uh, is go ahead and collapse this ribbon. We don't need that on the big screen. So there we go. Um, pretty cool. I would normally not sit this close, but I'm trying to get both uh, both the, the laptop and the big screen in view here. That and I lost my HDMI cable at Gen Con. <laughs> so, there you have it.